what's up guys so i decided to start this series where i'm going to be going through james and just kind of talking about it with you guys and sharing my point of view so let's get into it blessed is the one who perseveres under trial because having stood the test that person will receive the crown of life that the lord has promised to those who love him Whew. when tempted no one should say god is tempting me for god cannot be tempted by evil nor does he tempt anyone but each person is tempted when they are dragged away by their own evil desire and enticed. God doesn't tempt you. Your own desires tempt you. Your lust, whatever it might be a lust for. It might be a lust of a person or it might be a lust of someone else's life. Whatever it is, these desires you have that are not like godly desires, it is your own evil desires that tempt you and that drag you away. And that's, this is why it's important to stand your ground, to not fall into peer pressure, to not surround yourself around people that are, you tell them you don't want to drink and they say, why not? Here, try some. You tell people you don't want tattoos and they say, why not? Just, just get a little one. You run people that you say, I'm trying to quit smoking and they say, okay, well, good for you. I'm going to keep smoking right near you and keep tempting you. You can't surround yourself around people that are not going to respect that you're trying to flee from all sin, flee from the evil, flee from the temptations. That's the only way you're going to be able to do it. None of us are strong enough in our own will. We have to do it through God. And through God, he, he gives us wisdom to flee from temptation, flee from the people that are peer pressuring you. You might have to delete a certain internet site. You may have to unfollow people. You may have to set up things on your browser that blocks anything you have to take personal responsibility it's not god tempting you it's your own desires your own lack of fleeing from them and yeah flee from your sinful desires flee from them then after desire has conceived it gives birth to sin and sin when it is full grown gives birth to death now let's just dig into that for a second after desire has conceived, you have a desire that comes up and you don't nip it in the bud. It gives birth to sin. Temptations that come to you is not sin until you let it become sin. When you have desires, temptations, and you, you fall into them, then you fall into sin. You're not sinning just because you have these temptations, but when you don't resist them, that is when you fall into sin. That is when you give birth to sin and sin when it is full grown gives birth to death because sin separate is what separates you from god god is life god is a giver of life so the opposite sin is death it's just like it's so simple and i hate that like some churches and some pastors made things seem more complicated but it's really so simple and it's like god loves you and wants you to have life wants you to be away from those evil desires be away from those sins those temptations because none of those things are good for you even if it may be something that gives you temporary happiness it's not actually good for you it's not actually beneficial it's not actually going to produce anything good for you don't be deceived my brothers and sisters Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. He chose to give us birth through the word of truth, that we might be a kind of first fruits of all he created. So don't be deceived. Every good and perfect gift comes from God. Nothing apart from him is actually good. Nothing is actually beneficial. Like every good thing comes from God. So don't ever, ever, ever let yourself fall into the deceit of this thing makes me happy this must be good for me because this is how it makes me feel your feelings lie to you this is why the bible says not to follow your heart it says to guard your heart it definitely says not to follow it because your heart is the most deceitful you know how much we waver in our feelings we should never see our feelings as truth we should never follow our feelings 